Hey, have you ever been wondering what you needed to start a skateboard YouTube channel? Well, I've been through this already, and I've been doing skateboarding for a long time, and I have some things that you definitely need to start one. So first on this list is a skateboard, obviously. And I mean, it'd be nice if you could do some stuff on it because you know, you're gonna make a YouTube video and if it's gonna be just you skateboarding, you wanna be able to do some stuff that's impressive. So I would say get good enough on a skateboard where you have the basics down and then, you know, that'd be a good place to start or start filming from the very beginning and film your progress from nothing to where you want to be. Uh, it really just depends on the type of content you want to make though, so you, you make that decision for yourself. Okay, so number two would be a camera. Um, it doesn't really matter what kind of camera you have. Uh, if you have an iPhone, that's pretty perfect because they, the newer ones at least have a good like 0.5 angle lens and those are really nice for filming. Um, and then they have slow-mo. And then if you really if you really want to get a good camera, there's a lot of DSLRs out there that have good quality video that you can get and you can get microphones for it. I'm pretty sure you can even get a microphone for your phone. Um, it's just, you know, sure as long as you whatever you have will work as long as it's not nothing, you know, and not the worst camera ever to exist. And third on this list would be a tripod. And this is really, really important because if you don't have any friends, then you're screwed if you don't have a tripod. But tripods are really cheap. They, they vary from super cheap to super expensive. You can start on super cheap and then work your way up. I prefer, you know, the middle ground of like 40 bucks, 40, 50 bucks for a tripod because it's good quality and it's not super expensive. But if you don't have the money for it, it's, you know, you can get a super cheap one and it's, you know, everywhere. You can go to Walmart and get a $20 one. Or even cheaper, I don't even know anymore. It could be could be different. And then fourth is a editing, a way to edit your videos. You want to have either a computer with some editing software on it, or you want to use if you have an iPhone, there's this stuff called iMovie. And it is very good. Um, if you want to if you want better software for editing, there's Final Cut Pro, which is what I use. And then there is there's other ones all over the place. You can do some research. Uh, I think there's Adobe or Adobe Premiere. That's a really good one. A lot of people use that one. Um, and you can do some research on how you know how much you want to spend on it, and then figure out which one you actually want. There's def there's some free ones, and then there's some like I just mentioned that are kind of expensive, but they are really good. And the last one is uh, a plan. You're gonna want to plan when you start a YouTube channel because if you just start posting random stuff and you're not thinking about how to get views and stuff, you're not gonna grow as quickly as you would as if you actually had a plan of what you want to make and who your audience is gonna be. So skateboarding, you wanna you wanna know what type of videos you're gonna be making and understand how to make good thumbnails and understand how to make good videos. So you want to watch YouTube videos on how to do, you know, fancy stuff on editing, make good intros, <clears throat> good thumbnails on how to catch the eye and make people want to click on your video, and then good ideas so people will also want to click on your video. And then if you if you don't do any of that, I mean it's fine, you can upload videos, whatever you want, but you're not going to be growing as much as you would if you had a plan and specific set of stuff that you need to start growing because like I've been doing YouTube forever and I've only recently started growing because I only recently started making a plan on what I was gonna do because before that I'll just film my skate sessions and then upload it which is fine but if you want to grow you gotta you gotta know what you're doing and you gotta try and like figure out how to make the best of all of your video and make it appealing to people that don't know who you are. All right, yeah, that was uh, my five things for starting a skateboard YouTube channel that you definitely need. If you started a YouTube channel and you think you, there's other things that you need, uh, comment down below on what those are and then help a, help a, help a, guy, in it, help a guy out. <laughs> uh, click on this thing right here and this will bring you to another one of my videos and I will uh, see you in that video.